welcome Chairman OnePeople.sg, Mr Zainuddin Nordin. Today's Community Leaders Conference, organised by OnePeople.sg, aims to engage community leaders on current trends and developments concerning race and religious relations. Let us know that in conflict, as in war, no one wins. Victory is often short-lived, while the damage to lives of people can have lasting effects. Now this discussion can vary from Ferrari to Kari. Incidents between locals and foreigners have brought about emotional outbursts. If every group believes that it is nursing a marginalised identity, who is doing the marginalising? Similar pragmatic trade-offs between national and cultural identities take place at every level. The juggling, in fact, is endless. Reading in the newspapers that for all your troubles, you should blame your neighbours. It's normally that you will start to hate your neighbours and even very easily start to kill them. Very soon, because Bosnians are similar to <clears throat> people in Singapore, they start, to, they start to complain. The first lesson is that the war cannot solve any problem. So it's always important to take care about the neighbours. Please welcome our guest of honour, Acting Minister for Social and Family Development, Mr Chan Chun Singh. First thing that we all have to decide is how do we define our sense of identity. And he asked me, what can we do as an international community to help Bosnians to feel that they are Bosnians and to be proud that they are Bosnians? I said, the only thing that you can do is to arrange that the Bosnia became a world champion in football. You must allow people to maintain their different identities while insisting that there is a larger identity that subsumes the various different identities. People who come into Singapore and then when they see us interacting, the first thing that they notice is the diversity. 